The variety of user interview tools on the market is vast. So how do you choose the right one? Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we will talk about six things you should consider while choosing a user interview tool. First things first, ask yourself what is the goal of the interviews you want to conduct? Do you want to focus on the qualitative insights and simply talk to users? Or do you also want to run moderated tests and ask participants additional questions while they complete tasks? Before choosing the tool, list and prioritize all the functionalities you need to conduct research effectively. The next thing you want to check is the recruitment options. Depending on your preferred recruitment channel, make sure the tool can support it. If you'd like to recruit participants from your database, verify whether you can import it into the tool. If you don't have participants for user interviews, check whether a tool can recruit them for you. In UX Tweak, for example, we have a vast user panel. With it, you can recruit target participants for any research, even for very niche studies. And we guarantee the quality of participants' responses. Alternatively, some tools also offer to recruit with website pop-up widgets. To optimize the research process, verify what scheduling functionalities the tool offers. Ideally, the setup process should be flexible. Check whether you can adjust the number of interviews, change the interview time length, and schedule participants from different sources for the same study. Another factor to consider is how participants are invited to the interviews. For example, if you recruit through a user panel or by importing a participant database to UX Tweak, our tool will automatically invite select participants once the study is launched. Always make sure the tool has recording functionalities. Without interview recordings, you won't be able to analyze gathered user feedback properly. However, with interview recordings at hand, you can come back and rewatch them, make more notes, and even include some parts in the UX research report to highlight important findings. So, check how the interview recordings are stored and whether you can easily access and share them. Also, look into how long the platform stores recordings, as most tools don't store this information infinitely. To optimize the research flow, it's better to invest in a tool with powerful note-taking features. Check how many note-takers can be present during the interviews and whether the notes they take are timestamped. Having notes timestamped helps optimize the analysis of research results and you can navigate the interview recordings more easily. Make sure you and your team can also add additional notes to the interview recordings after the interview is finished. This way, you can easily collaborate on the research analysis, prevent confirmation bias, and draw more meaningful insights from the interviews. Last but not least, make sure that the tool you employ follows the GDPR, FedRAMP, or other regulations that are focused on the protection of sensitive user information. You can also check if the tool has additional functionalities to protect the participant. For example, check whether the tool has secure authentication protocols for users or uses data encryption. After you've chosen the user interview tool, make sure to sign up for the trial period. It will allow you to evaluate its features firsthand, assess its usability, and determine if it meets your specific research needs. And there we go. I hope our tips will help you find the best user interview tool to fit your needs. If you are unsure where to start, try out UX Tweak. Our platform offers effective solutions for participant management and seamless scheduling, extensive note-taking functionalities, and easy access to interview recordings. The link for the sign-up is in the video description. Like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you next time.